All right, lesson today's jobs report is let a growthier President Trump finish his job. That's the subject of the riff. Today's jobs report, weaker than expected, soggy, soft. Once again, past months revised down. Why are all these jobs evaporating? Remember, the BLS evaporated over 800,000 jobs in their latest benchmark revision. And actually, today's number for non-farm payrolls isn't really 142,000, which was lighter than expected. It's 142,000 minus the 86,000 downward revision, which means only 86,000 new corporate payroll jobs. Or, wait a second, look at private payrolls, which is more important. The reported number is 118,000. Weak, soft. But June and July will revise lower by 62,000, which means actually private payrolls in August were a measly 56,000. It's barely positive. And then health care and social assistance, both of which are essentially government-sponsored jobs, and government jobs themselves, well, that came to 68,000, which is 80% of the so-called August jobs increase. It's all government. I'd say it's pretty poor, wouldn't you? It's not a recession exactly, but it sure looks like the front end of a recession, which is why the stock market is badly in the red today. This is one of those days where bad news is, in fact, bad news. And we've had quite a few of these recently, haven't we? Bad news on manufacturing, bad news on housing. Now, I've got a much better idea. Take a listen to this. A combination of fair trade tax cuts, regulatory cuts, and energy abundance will allow us to produce more goods better and cheaper right here in the USA than we've ever done before. And foreign nations will respect us again. There we go. That, of course, Mr. Donald Trump speaking at the Economic Club of New York yesterday, an optimistic speech about American renewal unleashing prosperity, a growthier speech. Kamala Democrats never talk growth. Biden Democrats never talk growth. But when Republicans talk growth, they win. A recent Kudlow tip poll asked how important is economic growth to help individuals climb the ladder of success? Answer, get this, 60%, very important. 30%, somewhat important. That is 90% pro-growth. And I want to say... My friends at the tip poll have the most accurate poll, according to the data. 90% pro-growth. So, if Mr. Trump keeps hammering away on the growth theme, he's going to be a winner. Now, here's Mr. Trump yesterday, again, hammering the growth message home. Take a listen. We're going to have tremendous growth. This, what I'm talking about, is all about growth. We're going to make our money back on growth. We're going to also, I mean, we're going to grow like nobody's ever grown before. Just keep it up. You can't say enough about growth. You know what? Growth means four or 500,000 new private sector jobs per month, not 56,000. Growth means 3.4% or 5%, not 2% or less. Growth means America wins the global race for capital. Remember, the JFK tax cuts produced nearly 6% growth without inflation. The Reagan tax cuts produced about 5.5% growth with diminishing inflation. Mr. Trump had a head start on it during his first term. But now he's going back to the battle to finish the job. Tell you what, if he stays growthier, he's going to be a winner. That's the rift tonight.